site which was published in the Capital Factor, the New York Journal. The cancer of salivary gland is one of the common cancers in head and neck regions. This type of cancer develops in the minor and the major salivary gland, and sometimes with the stress of other organs, particularly the lung. Morphology of mimicry and similarity in the expression of steroid hormone research between the salivary gland tumors and breast tumors are well known phenomena and are occasionally debated in the field of surgical pathology. The expression of sex hormone receptor in some tumors suggests a role of these receptors in tumor pathogenesis and therapy, which as we have two tumors here. The first one, which is in the breast cancer, the second in the salivary gland. And based on two facts, which is the first, the similarity of the gland, the milk gland and the salivary gland, and the role of the sex hormone in the pathogenesis and the therapy of the breast cancer. We are now finding out if the hormone therapy will go will, will work on the salivary gland tumor or not. Our study aimed to characterize the alteration in the immune histochemical expression of estrogen and progesterone receptors in the tumor cells of carcinoma arising in polymorphic adenoma. Study design: 27 cases of carcinoma arising from polymorphic adenoma, undifferentiated and adenoma carcinoma types were examined. The proposed criteria for defining carcinoma ex polymorphic adenoma by a metagrid of 1991 were used to select and reclassify the cases of carcinoma ex polymorphic adenoma. <coughs> the including criteria the major gland, which is the parted and submandibular gland, the coexistent benign and malignant element, the benign element can be a polymorphic adenoma within tumor mass, and the biopsy proven history of the previous PSA, which is polymorphic salivary adenoma, indicated that it was in the same location as the subsequent of carcinoma. The malignant element can be undifferentiated and adenocarcinoma and multiple patterns, which is differentiated and undifferentiated patterns. The exclusion criteria. 27 cases of carcinoma arising in polymorphic adenoma were included in the study. The immune staining techniques were applied to localize the estrogen and progesterone receptor indications. The nuclear staining of estrogen and progesterone receptor was considered only as a positive result indicating the, pre the presence of a receptor of proteins. Two independent examiners covered the section for the presence of estrogen and progesterone receptor. Following the examination of the entire section, section five random areas were chosen from each slide. Why we use two independent examiners? There, there's a reason for it. If we use two, two independent two examiners in the same room, examining the same slide, that will influence the professional opinion because there is an influence for each other. And there are five random areas we're choosing from each slide to add more specific and more sure about the interpretation of the result. The excluding criteria. The scoring criteria was considered two categories. The positive on the nuclear staining, the surrogate receptor or progesterone receptor positive nuclei was assessed by two independent observers and scored as the negative 75% we considered negative and the positive greater than 75 we considered positive, which is a more restricted area of critical criteria. The research committee provided a favorable ethics of approval. The tissue blocks of breast cancer, which with a normal surrounding tissue of known positive five specimens and negative five specimens, estrogen and estrogen and progesterone receptors status were used as a positive control. We have five examples from each negative and the positive as a guideline for us in the breast cancer. Statistical analysis, the data were described using a frequency distribution. The range of cases that we use in this study is between 23 and 85. The result, the result showed that 27 out of 27 cases had negative nuclear staining for either estrogen and progesterone receptors. First, let me show you the positive slide to make you able to distinguish between the positive and the negative slide. There is no wireless mic here. No problem, okay. There is clearly seen here a nuclear staining for the breast cancer, not the polymorphic adenoma, for progesterone receptors. Clearly seen for nuclear staining, which means there is a pathogenesis of sex hormone here. And our study, our result, 
This is the first for quality strong receptor. There is no clear staining. They're negative, no necro staining. And for estrogen, also there is no necro staining. Discussion. The assessment of positive or negative nuclear staining itself is controversial. Many authors, Osma et al. 1992 and Yamato et al. 1996 and 1998, use a different criteria. For example, zero negative staining, one for low, two for moderate, three for strong, which means there is no specific answer, either positive or, or negative. Either should I pursue the treatment or not? That will provide the confusion. So the result cannot be compared. Therefore, we have used a strict criteria to assess the negative and the positive staining to avoid any confusion in the interpretation of the result. The rationale, what we used, 75% a break point. There's a, the break point may provide a more complete assessment, but for first, of protein expression and clear understanding of the rules played in the potential tumor. Markers and predicting the outcome. Estrogen and progesterone nuclear staining were not detected in our cases of carcinoma arising in polymorphic adenoma. This study was the first study to assess the presence of progesterone and estrogen receptor in carcinoma arising in polymorphic adenoma. Demory et al. 1987 detected a 15 out of 19 case of normal cerebral gland tissue and 3 out of 4 adenoid cystic carcinoma and polymorphic to be estrogen receptor positive. But there are studies used a less specific filtration, a safe estradiol titration on polyphorized fresh, fresh frozen tissue in which normal components such as fibrous tissue and blood vessels were included. Thus, providing a false positive result. In the present, of, in the present study, the immune histochemical staining was used which allowed the direct visualization of the positive cells. The results are consistent with those of Check et al. 1995 who found no estrogen receptor in their cases for adenoid cystic carcinoma. Dory et al. 2001, two cases with a progesterone positive staining out of 27 adenoid cystic carcinoma, but estrogen receptor was negatively expressed in all cases. The difference, the difference in results, there's a, a factor, a various factor for the differences in the results. First, the gender and the specific age and specific tumor histology, the immune histochemical technique and the pathological interpretation of the staining do lack of strict evaluation criteria, which we use a very strict criteria, evaluation criteria. Conclusion, the results suggested that the carcinoma arising in polymorphic adenoma were not dependent on endocrine function, which means we cannot use the hormone therapy in it. It's recommended that further work involves a large series of carcinoma arising in polymorphic adenoma to determine the estrogen and progesterone receptor used as a sensitive and a specific biochemical method can be detected in those tumors. And thank you very much for listening. Research with my professor, Professor Fasal Talakji, and I participate in the statistical analysis. But I think it's primarily staining, so histochemical staining for it.